सॉफ्टली चंद्रमा के सतह पे लैंड हो चुका है जी हाँ आप अपने स्क्रीन पे देख सकते हैं Again, rover is up and above. It's got 10 more days, 14 Earth days, one lunar day. The Pragyan rover has been safely rerouted after coming to face to face with a four-meter crater on the moon's surface. It was just posted these details, and we've been watching like a hawk in terms of the details coming through. ISRO has said that the rover had spotted a crater, a safe. Three meters from the actual edge of this crater, and had been directed to a safer path. Now, ISRO has actually got three main objectives. Now, have a, have, a, have a look at the have a look at these tweets, ladies and gentlemen. The crater on the Chandrayaan-3 rover encountered on 27th August 2023, as seen by the navigation camera. Now, you see from a distance, it's actually seen this crater. It's a four-meter crater. Spotted it just about three meters away from distance, and then what has it done? It's re-navigated, recalculated, it and found, figured out the distance further away, safe away from this crater. The path retraced by the Chandrayaan-3 rover on 27th August 2023, as viewed by the navigation camera on the onboard rover. So have a look at this. So this is what this intelligent piece of machinery that's been built by our scientists is able to do. It's able to look at the Crater from a distance, a wide calibrate, and then work out another path. Now, ISRO has three main objectives: soft landing on the lunar surface, movement of the Pragyan rover, obtaining data from rover. While two of the objectives. Have been successfully completed. All eyes are on the third mission. The third objective that while it is obtaining crucial data. From the lunar surface, the secret of the moon south pole, that side which has been safeguarded. From the vagaries of the elements, and of course the sun, and it's behind. So, millions of years ago, how was the Earth's surface? Can we get that data? How different it is now. Ten days are remaining for the completion of the. One lunar day. That means after which the rover will cease to function because of the drastic shift in temperature. It will become minus 250 degrees, and all sensors will freeze. And thereafter, to restart it will be quite literally When the next lunar day comes, but let's try and understand and bring you up to speed about what all, what all the lunar uh, 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 mission and the Pragyan rover has been able to achieve so far. One is successfully traveled 12 meters on the entire lunar surface. Is demonstrated proficient mobility by traversing on the terrain of the lunar. 
साउथ पोल वाइट खड्डा दिख रहा खड्डे से बच गया आगे निकल गया फोर मीटर स्टैश वॉट इट बीबल टू डू ऑन इट्स ओन ऑन द बूम Far, far away, three like eighty-four thousand kilometers away. It's been able to done it. Do it. It's surmounted its first lunar obstacle, a hundred millimeter deep crater. It was able to navigate the way. Successfully conducted drilling operations. Lunar surface and on the you the actually the subsurface experimentation it showcased its capacity. We told you it's equipped with those kind of scoops that to be able to drill and pull out soil and sample. Now in the first the Pragyan rover has actually sent data showing the temperature profile of the lunar surface at various depths at the south pole of the moon. It's also displayed its effective reception of ground commands and corresponding actions through its semi-autonomous control system. And the payload has recorded temperature fluctuations of both the lunar surface and the immediate subsurface at varying depths. So the crust and the mantle, the subsurface, has been able to see and measure, and that's because it's landed somewhere in that Atkins Basin. Now, CHST, our trust, chased the Chandra surface thermophysical experiment. This is what measures the temperature profile of the lunar topsoil around the pole and to. Understand the thermal behavior of the moon surface. So, what is it saying? That the temperature that is recording at various depths is showing. That there are huge fluctuations which are happening. It is a temperature probe equipped. to the control penetration mechanism capable of reaching a depth of 10 cm beneath the surface and then and then the probe is actually fitted with 10 individual temperature sensors so the presented graph illustrates the temperature variations of the lunar surface near the surface and the depths as recorded during the probe penetration this is the first such profile of the Lunar South Pole. Detailed observations are currently underway. Understand? Let's try and understand the data. Minus 10 degrees in the subsurface, and on the surface, look at this. It's nearly 58 degrees, and that's the difference just between the top soil and the subsurface. That's how much it becomes suddenly cold. And if that's the case, what all is preserved in the mantle and the core? Is a big, big question. In that, scientists want the answer. Want the answer too. Humanity, humanity wants the answers too. And also, those keen on the space race, looking at alternative mineral resources and, of course, sources of fuel for the future in terms of the space travel. They're all looking at these answers. The rover has found temperature fluctuations of both the lunar surface and the immediate subsurface at varying depths. Is it believed that the temperature Be somewhere around 20 degrees centigrade to 30 degrees centigrade on the surface, but it is 70 degrees centigrade, and this was higher than what they had expected. See, and these variables are now being negotiated and understood. Amazing gyan or amazing knowledge for the future. No wonder it's called pragyan. Now we'll aid in also understanding the processes that shape the moon's terrain over millions of years. Now. Will bet it will actually now better the current understanding of how the planets were actually formed. This moon, as a satellite, broke away from the Earth, and a huge chunk of it
and what did it take away? What was the composition of the Earth's crust, mantle, and core billions of years ago? Those are the questions that we can find the answers to. Extremely cold temperatures could mean that anything trapped in the region would remain frozen in time without undergoing much change. The rocks and the soil in the moon's north and south poles could therefore provide clues to early solar system. It paves the way for future crewed missions to the moon. And now let's try and tell you what else are the other planned objectives of the Pragyan rover. First up is study the water ice reserves. Ice reserves. Can we convert this into hydrogen fuel? Analyze mineral composition on our surface. So not rare earth minerals, but rare lunar minerals. Possible to try and mine and bring back. Chemical composition analysis. The rover will analyze elements like magnesium, aluminium, iron, silicon, potassium, titanium, calcium and others on the lunar surface. Is there another element that is not found on earth? Perhaps it is on the moon. We should know in the days ahead. They will also examine the electron and study the moon's surface and their temporal changes. It will measure the lunar quakes near the landing site, shedding light on the moon crust and mantle composition. And even as the rover gives us insights on the moon, ISRO is ready with its next mission. That's happening this Sunday, this Saturday. Weekend, ladies and gentlemen, aim for the sun. Isro does with Aditya L1 launch on the 2nd of September. Mission to be launched 400 kilogram spacecraft that will actually study the sun. The satellite will see the 400 kilogram class satellite with seven payloads. Aditya L1 will be inserted in a halo orbit allowed around the Nagarangyan point one. That's where it will be inserted, located about 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. The orbit is located. The satellite. perform additional experiments in lots of to observe the sun's photosphere and the chromosphere. It will study magnetic field of and magnetic field measurements in the solar corona we are take growing by leaps and pounds right the second time ladies and gentlemen at Chandrayaan soft landing is going to take India's space technology to a whole new dimension and nations are wanting to partner with us. Let's try